I mentioned this a little bit earlier when we were talking about uh, the Hurt business. This is something I think is, again, we need to give credit to Triple H because he listened to what we were all saying online, how upset we were that we didn't get the cage match between Becky and Bailey. Even though from what Bailey said in interviews, um, they were okay with the match being cut basically because she felt like it made damage control look really good. And so storyline wise, it made sense. And I understand what she was saying. Um, but I am glad that we were all quite vocal with how much we wanted to see this match. So triple H was like, okay, you know what? I'm going to try and figure out a way that we can work this way yeah. in. So I love that. I love that Bailey was getting a little bit sassy, like way more sassy. than I normal. love it. Yeah. So she comes in, talks about how damage control was, dominating in the Royal Rumble match says her favorite was eliminating Becky. She's done with Becky, blah, blah, blah. But Becky says she's just making up excuses that she doesn't want to actually fight her because she knows that she's better than her. Bailey said that she's not smart and that she's not good enough. She's not even good enough for her husband Rollins because he only married her because he knocked her up, which I was like, girl, <laughs> that I, is some that was, fire words. That was incredible. He'll work. Did you right see? There. They already came out with a new T-shirt for for Rollins, the man's man. That's what the shirt says, the man's that's man. In, uh, that's that's unbelievable. He, he tweeted it out, so that's already a new shirt. Twenty four ninety five. Um, yeah, and uh, so Becky says, you know, we started in NXT basically around the same time ten years ago in Orlando. And uh, so I'm challenging you for a rematch, basically for the match that we never got to happen have happen at Raw thirty. Bailey's like. Nah. And then she goes back, brings up Dakota Kai with a chair, threatens to get her, and Bailey is like, okay. So we finally get the steel cage match next week, which I am very excited about. I feel that should be the main event, if we're being honest, because I want a good match. I want the women to main event. Um, and I think it's going to be really, really good, and I'm very excited about it. I'm also wondering how long this feud is going to last, and if it's something that they think might last till Mania. I think you could. I think I you think could do it to Mania. Possibly, yeah. It might be one of those things where they kind of like touch and go, where they like feud and then like go off and do their own thing for a couple of weeks and then they revisit it again, you know? So it's not a progressive one for the next two months, which people mm. would get bored of. But I feel like Bailey deserves to have a big match at Mania because she's Agreed. the only one of the four horsewomen that has not had that moment yet. So I feel like that would be cool because, I mean, Sasha's not around, but Charlotte's guaranteed to have a match because she's the women's champion. And I feel like it would be cool to have another women's match at Mania that doesn't involve the title, but is just as important. Yeah, I agree. And those two would be the two that I would say deserve it the most. And I feel like it would just... I don't know, kind of helps solidify the women's division more by not only featuring matches between women on big cards like Mania that involve the title. It'll show like, no, we have depth to our women's roster. We have depth to their storylines that not everything is circling around a title. I think that would be a really cool move by Triple H. Yeah. Um, 